Hey, Ricky, I noticed this new Persona 4 fighting game just came out and it looks like super interesting. Should I play it? Oh, it's super good. It feels so smooth. There's status ailments in a fighting game. It's super dope, but you just can't play it. What? Why not? You haven't beaten Persona 4, that game's just a tight packed mystery and the roster is gonna spoil that mystery and, and I just don't want that to happen. Well, that is upsetting, but I guess it does make some kind of sense. I'll just play this Strikers game. <sighs> I mean, sure, if you want to spoil Persona 5. Fine, okay, I'll just play Persona 4. I didn't want to, but it's on Steam and it is cheap. Now you really should be playing Persona 3 first. I mean, completely different story, completely different characters, nothing in common at all, actually. But there's a point where you see Persona 3's school, and I don't want to ruin that. Okay, how about I just skip some steps and actually play Persona 1? That game's banned in seven states for giving people terminal motion sickness. And they still gave it a sequel? Two of them, actually. Persona 2 1 is called Innocent Sin, and in that- And was it? What? The Sin? Was it innocent? Well, Persona 2 2 is called Eternal Punishment, so probably not. Yep, that's a skip. So then straight to three. What you really want to do is play the remake of three and replace the missing epilogue from the original of three with the in-canon, in-universe rhythm game, Dancing in Moonlight. And how do I even play that? Oh, it can be played on any Sony PlayStation. Vita. Just the Vita. Well, that's just great. How am I supposed to do that? You got a time machine to 2015 lying around? Hey, no, you cut that out right now. But like, what do you actually do in the game? But there wouldn't be so many, there has to be like a really cool, amazing gameplay loop, right? It's half about preventing the apocalyptic death of society's collective youngie and super ego, and half about going to high school. Just going to high school. Oh, but they tell you how to feel about high school. In Persona 3, you go to high school, but you feel real sad about it. And in Persona 4, you go to high school, but you feel real happy about it. And in Persona 5, you go to high school, but you listen to MCR, hang out behind lockers, and don't listen to your stepdad. I'll play my music as loud as I want. I mean, that doesn't not check out. But, but they're like fun, right? Like you enjoy playing them? Well, I have no idea. I just started with the fighting game. I hear there's a fishing mini game. Sold. Ta-da.